Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Bell, where I share strategies, ideas, tips, and more in elementary math for parents and teachers. In today's tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you how to create a lesson plan template for your math instruction. Whether it be whole group, small group, your independent work, homework, an assessment, I'm gonna show you how to create this template and customize it to meet your needs. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in PowerPoint. I'm gonna show you how to create a lesson plan template for your math instruction. And I have some different templates here. Most of them have the same basic foundation and I've modified them with a few little tweaks. So I'll show you the base and you can do with it what you like. All right, so what I'm gonna do is insert a new slide here and go to insert and insert a table. So we want five rows for our days of the week, our work week, and we want a row for labels. So I'm gonna do six rows. And then right now for this base, I'm gonna just have three main columns. We can always add in a column later if necessary. So that's gonna load up. We're gonna go um, up to the ribbon and automatically, automatically because you added a table, the table design pops up in the ribbon. So we're going to change that to our basic default layout. And we're going to go to layout and extend the length and the width. All right, so here is our table set up for our lesson plan layout. Then we're gonna make some adjustments as we type in our text. So here on the first column, we're going to do our days of the week and I know I want the, the text to be centered and in the middle. Um, I also know I want every, all of my text to be my favorite font. So choose the font that you want. And I got my font. So Monday and then list out your days. This is if you're using it for specific days in the week. Maybe you're doing it per class or per period if you have different periods. Okay, so for this basic template I'm going to put the second column that middle column is going to be labeled lesson like lesson notes and then the one on the right is going to be like an assessment or assignment what are they going to be working on just like we have here so what's their independent work or what's this assessment I'm going to use and I want those to go in the middle and be centered so then here for your lesson what I did on this template, I listed out the objective, engage, what are you gonna to do to engage your students, like your intro to the lesson, and then what are you gonna to do to build up their understanding. So here we're going to type in objective, what is your overall objective, and then we have our engage, and then our building understanding. So let's adjust that to give more space for our lesson notes and that's good. So here I'm going to decrease the size of the text. So you have more room to type in there or to write in there if necessary. Then let's just copy this and paste it in the cells below. Of course, adjust if you think you're gonna be writing more for your building understanding or if you don't wanna put your engage, adjust this how you like. And I'm gonna leave this column blank to write in it later on. One of my other templates, I added in like what pages they were going to work on or what center they were gonna do or if they had an exit ticket. So that's the difference there. You can leave that blank or add in specific page numbers. Another way you can adjust the lesson plan, let's say you want to, instead of having your days of the week listed out Horizontally, what if you wanted to do them vertically like this one so that you have even more space for you to type or write your lesson notes? So let's go back to the slide we were working on and we're going to highlight the text for our days and then go up to our ribbon and go to text direction and change it to rotate all text 270 degrees. So now it's sideways. So now you can use even less space for your days of the week and you have more space here. What if you wanted to 
specifically make lesson plans or an outline for your whole group lesson and your small group lesson. So here we have two rows and we have one, two, three, four columns. Let's quickly, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to do a new slide, same setup overall. So here is our two rows and our four columns. I'm just adjusting the dimensions in the layout to fit what I want it to look like. I'm gonna go in again and change my font and text size. So here I know I want um, the labels of whole group and small group. And then again, we're gonna go in and change the direction, the text direction. And we're going to put that in the center. There we go. And let's minimize the size of those cells. Go back to layout. Increase the length. So what else do we want to put in this template? We want to put our days of the week. Now, if you have it this large, maybe you're putting it in a binder or making your own whole planner. And on one side, on the left, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on the right, you have Thursday and Friday. So with the one we just did, let's divide these up. I do need to add in an extra row. So I forgot one of the rows. So let's highlight this top section and insert rows above. So that carried everything down. So let me show you. It extended our table. We're just going to decrease the size of this top row to add in our labels for the days of the week. And we're going to center it. Okay, so now we want to duplicate this slide so that we can do our Thursday and Friday. So let's change this to Thursday, Friday. And then you have this extra column on the side. So if you just wanna put note or anything else that you need to add in, any other extra information, homework for the week, quiz for the week, a list of your groups, whatever you wanna put there. So I'm just gonna take away this middle line so we can write straight down. And I'm gonna do that by going to layout and then going to merge cells. And then you have your straight line. So that's a easy way to make a lesson plan template to fit the needs of your instruction in your classroom. And then this one, I just added lines in the row with my dash on my keyboard, added in lines there so that if you wanted to go in and write on it with your um, pen instead of typing you can do that as well. Let's do that here We're going to merge this cell go up to layout merge cells And then I'm just going to get rid of the entire text that I have there. Let's write in lesson notes Let me increase my size so you can see closely and then I just hit enter and I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard and my dash button to make an underscore and fill it in. All right, you can continue all the way through or you can copy it, control C or command C and then under or next to the end, hit control V for paste and do that all the way down. And there you have your lines and you can do the same thing for each of the rows below. That's how you create a lesson plan template for your math instruction. And remember to customize it to meet your needs. If you found this video helpful, please like it by hitting the thumbs up button and share it with someone who may need it. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you're notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, here's another tutorial for you to watch how to create your own math resources using PowerPoint.